Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. We're here in Lake Hylia, and our next big destination, as revealed to us earlier, is that we need to be going to the Lake Bed Temple here at the bottom of Lake Hylia. But if we try to do that now, we'll pretty much just drown before we can even get there. So we're, uh, gonna be doing a lot of stuff before we can actually get there. Most of it isn't, like, you know, required or anything. But since I'm doing a 100%, there's gonna be quite a lot of collection at this point. I think I've got like nine bugs to collect and numerous heart pieces and upgrades and items and stuff, so... <laughs> hey buddy, have you heard? There's like a temple or something at the bottom of this lake. Oh no, I hadn't heard that, strange clown man. Oh, yeah, I swear, those Zoras. You tell them, buddy. Oh, are you a customer? <laughs> Yep, we're actually a customer, and uh, what we're a customer for is the height of excitement and the thrill of launching to the heavens. Which is uh, a little bit exaggerated, but let's pay our paltry 10 rupees and give it a shot. So let's go in here. This does not look stable in any way. Is that one of those like little versions of Uku spinning around there? Okay, this looks dangerous. I think I want out of here right now. And it's a giant cannon. Ooh, that just sounds painful. I think it has like the same sound effect as the the bomb exploding, but uh, that might just be me hearing that. So anyway, that shoots us up here, and that cannon is the only way that you can get out of the bottom of Lake Hylia. I mean, unless you can warp, which you know we can't really do that right now because we're just Hylian Link. So. And as Midna says, at the final piece of the few shadows on the bottom of Lake Hylia, we're gonna need that ability that Zora Queen uh, mentioned to us, being able to respire in deep waters. But before we get to anything serious like that, let's play a minigame with an even stranger looking clown who's got a tattoo of some sort of tower on his stomach. I'm, I'm not even gonna ask. One big guy, or just one? Ooh, the Isle of Riches, let's go there. Just grab a cuckoo. All right. Let's just grab one here. And what we're going to be aiming for is, if you look down, there's sort of a multi-tiered platform. You see there's one that's kind of spinning around at the top. We're actually aiming for the one right below that. And there's some bonus rupees that you can pick up on the way, so... I'm going to be getting those. These pretty much will lead you straight onto that island you need to go to. Uh, if you need a visual representation on the... Representation, rather. On the map, it's that little green square that's down to the left of me right now. I need to be pulling up here so we don't overshoot this thing. Zoom out. And alright. You can pretty much stop dead in your tracks if you hold down, so... And land right there. Cool. Hey, the cuckoo's on the treasure chest. <laughs> There's a cuckoo in my treasure chest, and then we get a piece of heart for it. Uh, if you land on the one that's spinning around up here, there's a hundred rupees in it. And uh, the reason I didn't just go ahead and shoot for that and then drop down to the chest with a piece of heart is because that's actually kind of hard to do. And there's not really a whole lot of space for you to land. But what you can do is just sort of drop down. Ooh, that was close. Uh, drop down onto each tier and you'll get 50 rupees, 20 rupees, and uh, 10 rupees on this one, I believe. So, you know, that's, uh, that's a pretty good amount of rupees. And, of course, uh, as I mentioned before, the only way to get out of this bottom part of Lake Hylia is to uh, pay Fier here. That's the guy's name. I don't know if I ever mentioned it or not. Is to pay him 10 rupees to be shot up. So, yeah, I know. Give it a shot. The good thing is, once you climb in, you can just skip it. So, <laughs> it doesn't take a whole lot of time. And we're back up here now. Yeah, I always... Well, well, as I was saying, it's like I always backflip off of that area, because it seems faster than just, you know, getting on the ladder and dropping off, but... Whatever. So we're finally done with that bottom part of Lake Hylia for now. We'll be back, though, obviously, because the temple's down there. So, uh, ooh, it's getting dusk out here. There's a few bugs that we need to get in the upper part of this area. First thing I'm going to do, though, is come over here because there's some of that uh, that horseshoe grass stuff that'll call it Pona, so get that real quick.
There she is. Alright, let's hop on. Alright, now, the first bug that we're going to be getting in this area is in this little archway here of the bridge. Let's just run over that guy. Now, he can be a little tricky to find, or she. Actually, I don't remember if this is a male or female version. Oh, look, it's right there. Uh, let's see if this guy's coming over. Yeah, he is. Let's take care of him. Oh, that was easy. Please still be there. Don't fly off on me. Okay, it's over there. And it's going to fly around a little bit and be annoying. There it is. It's a male mantis. Can mantises even fly? I don't know. It doesn't seem to me like they can, but uh, I guess they can. Mr. Link, wait! Yeah, as if this hasn't gotten annoying enough yet. Greetings! I'm going to deliver letters. Two letters! Uh, we're super lucky again, apparently. Onward to mail! Okay. That, that was fun. Alright, let's go now. And the other bug that we want to collect is on the south side of the bridge. It's not in the archway, though. Uh, see this big sort of tree thing that's hanging around here? Well, the bug is right up there, as you might be able to see. Make sure nothing's bugging me. Alright. So, let's get it. What's your problem, Makona? <laughs> it went on the wall again. Well, there's the female mantis, which is cool. I don't know what her problem is. Well, she's going crazy over here. Okay, so uh, now let's not go this way because this isn't where we need to be going. We're actually going to be heading back up to Zora's Domain at this point. And uh, we can't just take that big bird thing that we did before because it's, well, it's not there in the Realm of Life. So we're going to have to find a little more creative way to get there, but it's okay because it's pretty easy to find. So we want to come over this way, go out towards uh, Western Hyrule Field here. And on the way, the path is going to split. And we can now take this left path, which is blocked by boulders. So let's hop off. And this one little bomb blows up this entire huge stack of rocks, which is awesome. Well, there's a lot of rupees laying around for us. They're all blue rupees, which are worth five. There we go. Let's get back on our trusty steed. And we're going to be passing a, a pretty cool little area here. We can't... There's going to be stuff in here that we can do later, but... Uh, there's not really anything here for now. We're just sort of passing through. Notice the like the little tracks sort of at the bottom right? Those will come into play later. <laughs> As if, you know, I, I don't say that enough. But Okay, so there's another path blocked by boulders. Let's blow them up. And this one's got a few more rupees for us. It's got three yellow ones instead of four blue ones. So we're already back up to 180 rupees. That was pretty quick. And now we just want to be following the path. Now we can go up this way, because Zora's Domain is at the very northern edge. So just keep hugging the north wall here. Watch out for these Tektites along the way, because they love to jump on you. It's nice if you charge them a spin attack, because you can kill them as soon as they try to jump on you. And sometimes they'll drop a rupee for you. That one actually knocked me off, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Anyway, we want to bomb that thing. That boulder blocking this path. Oh, <laughs> sorry there, girl. Epona can't come with you because she can't get over this little pile of rocks for whatever reason, but it's okay because we don't really need her where we're going anyway. So now we're in Zora's Domain. And uh, this is sort of the path on the right that took like a little over a minute to get one of the invisible bugs. Back when that was covered in Twilight. So we can dive off and almost hit our head on the ground. And, ooh, what's that thing floating up there? Eh, well, we can't do anything with it yet, but I suppose I'll I'll show you it while I'm over here. There's actually a golden bug on this side of Zora's Domain that I'm going to be getting right now. And it's fluttering around up here. So let's not roll, but grab it. Grab it. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Male dragonfly, cool. So that thing we saw floating up there, 
that uh, strange blue uh, lantern sort of thing, but we can't really do anything to it. And it's <laughs> trying to hit us, so that's a little mysterious, but I'm sure we'll find that out later, won't we? Alright, so now uh, we're about to run out of time, so I'm just going to get us into uh, the path leading to the next area. Some Zoras hanging around here. They don't really say anything interesting as far as I know. Well, uh, before we head into this next area, I guess I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. So, in the next part, we'll continue on with our bug collecting and heart piece collecting and uh, taking our steps to get into Lake Bed Temple. So, until then, thanks for watching. See you next time.